So we're back here on the Duncan Duo Show, and my lovely wife, Angela Duncan, is joining us today, and she, for the first time ever, just created a, a segment for us. She said, you guys haven't talked about haunted houses, have you? And we haven't. So we have the no. opportunity, right? So, um, you know, this is the time of year, obviously, when, you know, everyone's out going to, you know, Universal's, uh, you know, the, the Halloween Horror Nights, Bush Gardens, Howl's Scream, which we've gone to both this year. Yes, we have. Um, and, and had a great time at both Universal's. Really, Much really better. good, yeah. So um, I didn't like that they didn't have The Walking Dead this year, but you know, I'll I'll give them credit for how good their American Horror Story haunted house was. So, but uh, but nonetheless, um, you know, it, it's funny this time of year because of Halloween, everyone talks about haunted houses. But in the real estate business, uh, we get the unfortunate or fortunate, depending on your viewpoint, experience of sometimes having to deal with homes that might very well be haunted. Have you ever had a customer say that they, Mike that they thought a home was haunted? Absolutely, it yeah. happens more than you would think. Yeah, where they think, yeah, yeah. all my house is haunted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. oh yeah, and we get it where legally they, from a disclosure standpoint, it's not something necessarily that the seller has to. Disclose. Correct, correct, because you, so so when and that's it's it's funny that that comes up because it's it's been brought up before, but you can't really prove beyond you know you can't prove there's no there's no database for it there's no tracking for it. Um, if there's ever been a newspaper article about how much it's haunted, then yeah, that, that becomes public knowledge. But but just because you might think that you heard something or felt something doesn't mean a, a home is haunted or, you know. But I can tell you that through the years, we have put homes on the market and we've sold homes that we felt weird in or we yeah. felt something <laughs> odd. Um, you know, there's a house in South Tampa a few years ago that we experienced this with, a, a bungalow that is now not there anymore, it burned down. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to say this, like, it burned down, okay, like, that, that's that's just a sign, you know, so anyway, we felt when we uh, went to the house, you know, walked through it uh, for our customer, uh, we felt that it wasn't lived in, it was vacant, uh, it, it, it was weak, it felt haunted, like, there was some weird experience going on there, so, and it, it's not even there anymore, it burned down, so, the Again, that goes to my point. So right. <laughs> they're out there, though. So um, we'd love for you to share your haunted house story with us. If you got a funny story, go to our socials and share it with us. Uh, Facebook.com backslash the Duncan Duo Show or Twitter or Instagram at the Duncan Duo. Tag us in a post about your haunted house. We'd love to hear about it. Maybe we'll talk about it on air. But uh, we've definitely seen those those types of uh, you know scenarios before. And uh, the, it's funny. I think there are some people who would probably make them want it more. And there's some people who would say, absolutely not. I, I want nothing to do with, with a house that's haunted. So um, we've personally lived in one that we thought was haunted. Yes, you know? and we did disclose it to the new buyer. We did, right. yes, <laughs> yes, we did, we did. We said, hey, look, I have a couple of weird things going on here. Lights you know? turn on, TV turns on, lots of noises we couldn't explain, shadows. Yeah, it was It was, that, so it was one night I woke up in the middle of the night punching the wall. Oh, wow. it was a person. Oh, wow. Yeah, I thought it was a person, you know, wow. so... Um, it wasn't funny at the time, but now, now it seems Now at the back, yeah, it's pretty funny. So, And now every time we hear like any kind of weird noise in the homes that we've lived in since then, it's like, is that? Well, we had a, go we had a ghost name Jebediah. for it. Jebediah. Jebediah was our ghost <laughs> name. And I don't remember, there was something we Googled to find that name. There I think was, it helped something. our daughter, so it wasn't so scary we had to give it a name. Yeah, it made her feel it made her feel better about it. So, But since then, fortunately, it hasn't followed us like the, you know, like on, um, what's the, the show where the ghost follows? The Paranormal, Paranormal activity. activity, yeah. The ghost hasn't followed us around. So that's a good. Fortunately, thing. we don't feel like we're haunted anymore. So, <laughs> but uh, but again, if you've got a haunted house story, make sure to share it with us. If you're buying or selling a home, it's a, it's a question that you certainly can ask. But there's no obligation for disclosure. No, there's if you're no concerned. box on the disclosures. Correct. You can ask, and <laughs> then it's, it's whether or not the person wants to answer it. You know, and and you know, so but but ultimately. Um, you know, there are always weird occurrences that happen with homes. There's always home feelings that homes have, and there's homes that have been put on graveyards. There's homes that have been put over in areas where someone d died, and people have said that. So if you've ever seen the show, you know, the, the Ghost Hunters or any of the shows, you know, geared around that, there's devices in different ways that they can determine if there's something going on. But there's no foolproof way for anyone to definitively say, yeah, you know, that this place is, is haunted. Uh, it's more personal experiences than anything else. So we've definitely had some of those personal experiences in homes that we've owned as well as homes that we've we put up for sale. And I'm sure you've seen it too. I've seen people that list theirs as a haunted house. Yeah. So sometimes that's out there as no, well. No, you've seen it. And I saw something on Zillow and Trulia this wa this past week that there was an article about a real-life haunted house that, that had been, you know, uh, that was on the market for a substantial amount of money. And they had been investigated by all the ghost agencies, and every one of them said, this place is haunted, you know. So, um, you know, no, no doubt that, that they exist and, and that there are experiences out there 
but uh, it's just a question of whether how that how that gets incorporated into your real estate transaction or your home buying or selling processes is still uh, a gray area, uh, so to speak. So.